Oh, hi. Good, good. good. I've got to look and there's a sun, so I see who I'm talking to. <laughs> yeah, fine, thank you. I think it's great that they've, um, Peter and Jessica are, are doing this. And, Cause we've, we've still got all our jumps at home and bamboo steeplechase jumps and all that, so they're still there. How long have you been at that property? Oh, Nearly 61 years. Wow. David, my grandson and Emily, they've been jumping horses. Yeah. Mm, they've got a few they're going to jump. Yeah. Well, they just like jumping, anything to do with jumping with horses, actually. Yeah. <laughs> been like that all my life. <laughs> you know, I've done show jumping and, you know, that sort of thing, and hunting and... I just I've always liked jumping. I mean, we've won a lot of flat races too, but uh, I always enjoy the jumping the most, you know. It's, and it's a, th a thrill to ride them and that, because I've done, done a bit of that as well, schooling them and that. And it's a diff just different. It just depends how mad you are, I suppose. <laughs> so we, we used to teach all our horses to jump right from the very, like when they first broken in, just about we'd, jump, we'd ride them over logs and things. Yeah. But some of them never actually did jump racing. But most of them, they end up doing that. Because we like having, dis I like distance races as well. They're more, got more time to think, you know? Yep. Yeah. And what's your most memorable moment? Well, I suppose, uh, probably, probably the dead heat for first in the Great Northern steeplechase. That'd be something, I never, even though we had a great, a dead heat for first in a, in a hurdle race once at Tiara, I know, with both our horses. But this is Great Northern Steeplechase. I mean, it's a big race. And that was a, I always remember that, I feel. Yeah. Those sort of things like me. Mosquitoes and all that make me itch like crazy. There's none around home. No mosquitoes. I don't know if I've had a for years. Thanks very much. I say, Chesson with a lot of white on it, I know it's yours. Yeah. Your horse is up next. Yeah, I know, I know, I know it's going to be worth because it was easy to tell. <laughs> His horse is very ex easy to tell. <laughs> I'm a wonder. It's my eighth wonder out of I'm a heroine who won the Great Northern Steeplechase. So I won one who was bigger than her and could go a bit faster and could stay as well. And so they say to me, how do you make a small fortune out of racing? And they said, start with a large one. We didn't like to buy big, drafty, two-year-old sort of ones. We'd like to buy ones that were a bit backward, perhaps, and had a good walk and good wither on them. And um, just looked like real thoroughbreds, really, I suppose. And we never paid much for them. If somebody wanted to pay a lot, well, we let them buy it and we'd look at another one. And we, we bought lots, lots and lots. Because poor start, and then but late, lately I've had more or less give people that have given me horses. Um, but when we were racing a lot of horses, they nearly all ones we'd bought at the Ealing sales. Yeah. We had we bought Crown Star. I forget how much he cost, but he was bought at, at Crawdon's, and he didn't pay a lot. But he ended up winning 17 jumping races, and I think that's the most in New Zealand. I think that's the most that I can find ever in New Zealand. Just in New Zealand. He retired, he won the Grand National Hurdles in the, once in the steeplechase twice and um, lots of other races. No, he never won a flat race, but he was a really, really, really good horse. That yeah, was very good. I mean, couldn't, just perfect. This was a carbon copy of the time before. I was gonna, I was gonna bring my movie camera, but then I couldn't find where to put it. Video camera. He did finish on a good note. The horse no. jumped really well. That's how did it like that the first time as well. <laughs> See you next time. Okay.